Okie dokie, so I have some crystals to open from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. They're kyber crystals. So they come in these little canisters. And we're gonna open them today. See what we got. Oh, opened it on the wrong side. And I like to take all the plastic off. Because you are still left with some of this shrink wrap plastic residue on the lid. The lid just has probably like what some skew numbers on there. Some number codes. So just an easy opening. So it's all unwrapped and it comes with this little piece of plastic to protect the crystal itself. And then here is a blue kyber crystal. Oh, I stuck some plastic on here. And let's do this. Do the blues. So you can get these at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, either at Disneyland in California or Hollywood Studios in Florida. These retail for $15 before tax. So I think like with tax it's like $16 and some odd cents or something like that. Not, not quite sure with tax, but they're about $15. So we have our little piece of plastic. And let's do, we have a yellow, another blue, a white, and two purples. Let's do a blue. So these are hard to open. I've come across a couple that were easy to open, but for the most part, they are difficult to open. So I found the easiest thing to do is just use a box cutter to just cut the seal along the edge that doesn't have this little key ring. That's what I found as being the easiest method to opening them. Here is the last blue one.
What's also really cool is the cap that you um, have. You can actually put crystal in. Let's see if it'll let me. I'm gonna put a balancing. Of course, nothing's going to work while I'm on video. Yeah. There it goes. So it's standing up straight. Ooh, as it falls over. <laughs> I like to keep the little plastic piece with my crystals just to keep it all intact, to keep them from bouncing around. Because there is mechanics inside of the crystal for the voices. Uh, I know that they are meant to be kind of durable because they are wrapped around uh, resin. Oh my goodness. But I just, I'd rather have them be safe than have anything happen to them. And let's do a yellow. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong side. A yellow. So when I'm cutting it open, I'm cutting it at an angle going inward. That way I'm not cutting into the actual canister itself because the canister has its own plastic lining for the label and I don't want to destroy or harm that. So if you could see, it has its own lining. But I don't, oh, I don't want to harm that lining. So let's see what we have. Here is our yellow crystal. camera wants to focus on the yellow. There it is. It's like, can't see the yellow. It blends in with the surroundings too well. So let's do the purples and then we'll end with the whites. How about that? So I'm just cutting into the cap, you can say, kind of along the crease that it connects. That way I'm not harming the canister at all in any way. I'm just being very gentle. And then I like to leave just a little bit of the rim. So the part that I am cutting with the blade uncut so that when I turn it, I get a little bit of residue that I can easily pull. So I don't have to cut the canister any more than I have to. Because I don't like leaving it like this. i rather just take the extra, you know, two seconds it takes to make a slit and pull it off. It just makes a nice, sleeker look then. Look at my crystal. Plus it adds to more unwrapping.
And unwrapping is always the funnest part about opening something. Let's do our last purple. Have you guys been to Galaxy's Edge yet? And are you guys trying to collect just one of each color crystal? Or are you trying to do all 27 cuts like I'm trying to do? And my friends are trying to do? What are you guys interested in doing with your crystals? I'm trying to figure out how I want to display all of mine. And our last one. So I recycle all of my plastic shrink wrap, I believe that's what this is, just shrink wrap. I put it in my recycling bin for a trash day. Because it is recyclable, you just want to make sure that it is disposed of safely because we don't want it going into the ocean where other animals can get to it and think it is, you know, food like a jellyfish or something like that, like you would with, you know, Coke cans and stuff like that. So I do my best to dispose of the trash as safely as possible because you do accumulate a lot of trash with these. So I guess I'll just put all my crystals out for you. So we can see them all. that's the fun part that's the best part is looking at all of our crystals and then I just love collecting everything the larger the set is the more likely I am to do it Hi you guys, my video did cut out, I don't know what happened, but we did leave off on the yellow crystal, and so I was showing you that you want to make sure you are cutting along this end and not damaging that film that's the Kyber Crystal sticker. So this is what we got in our yellow crystal container. So I didn't realize that my camera had issues um, until I got done opening everything um, and I started laying all the crystals out for you. So this was our white crystal that we got. It's a very large crystal. Um, so I also got to open the purple ones without you, which I feel kind of bad for, but I'll show you to them now, I'll show them to you now, here they are, so I do want to say you get a lot of debris, plastic debris with these, um, I recycle mine just like you would with uh, Coke cans. If you buy Coke, you get the little um, plastic that you want to cut up so no sea animals eat them. I dispose of them just the same way. 
as well as I recycle them. So I take them to my recycling plant with all my plastics as well, just to make sure that they're disposed of properly. I save these, um, obviously to hold my crystals in, uh, for the meantime until I create a display that I wanna put all my crystals in. If you guys have any way you display your crystals in, uh, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. My Instagram handle is down below. I would love to see how you do it. As well as, are you guys trying to collect one of each color or are you going for all 27 cuts like I am? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want me to do more crystal openings, oops, be sure to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you. Bye.